Hey guys, how are you doing? Good. Never, never. Not really. Right after last season, we took uh, one or two weeks and just kind of unwound a bit, and then we got right back into things. We did kind of opposite things, which is kind of funny, but Rachel went down to the beach and I went up to, to Vermont to spend some time with my cousin who lived there. I'm more of just put me in the mountains, go hiking, oh. enjoy the cold weather. Yeah, no, I went Can't where get the enough sunshine. cold weather. <laughs> I think it was, it was easier this year just because this is our second year in senior, so we knew much more what to expect. It was last season, um, those extra 30 seconds in the free dance really got us. <laughs> yeah, no, so, transitioning yeah. from junior to senior was definitely, yeah. it was it was hard last year, mm -hmm. um, but coming into this season, I think that we've got a pretty good start on things. Like, yeah. this is our third competition so far this season, so. Yeah, we got a very early start this year, but everything's starting to feel a lot better now. So. Yeah, I'm starting to mesh that. together. I think just getting these programs, these two new programs, um, to a place where we're really comfortable with all the steps, all the transitions, um, where we're consistently doing what we need to do technically so we can work more on the performance aspect of them. Yeah, yeah, because it's two, two very different sides of skating, your components and your, your tech score. And it's much easier, I think, to get a higher component score when you're comfortable with the technical side. So that's what we, we've really been working on, just to get that nice technical base. So then we can really like dance it out and really present on the ice. Hmm. I really liked uh, Bangkok. It's the first time we've ever been there. Yeah, we totally went to different culture, the, totally the different Asia place. Trophy in Thailand, and yeah. we went on a very short notice, but it turned out to be a really, really fun trip. Yeah, I think it's just really, really fun and really educational to experience different cultures. It's one of the one of the really big benefits of competing internationally is you not only get all this skating experience, but you also get all this experience in life, meeting all these different people, all these different places. Um, so I think it really helped with our skating to, to get started with the competition season early. And I think it just was really enjoyable too, because we'd never been there before. Yeah, it was fun. We had a lot of fun. Oh man, <laughs> that's so really many. tricky. That's really, really <laughs> yeah. tricky. Um, we love competing in Japan. Yeah. It's always been one of our favorite places Definitely. just because the fans and the environment are so enthusiastic. Mm -hmm. um, I yeah. don't... Anywhere in Europe I truly really don't know. We've never yeah. been here in Italy before and we're loving yeah. it so far. Yeah. I think we're pretty good cheerleaders yeah. for each yeah. other. Yeah. I think we're, we're both really good at picking up on when the other is down a little bit or not really feeling it and we can get each other back into it. The, the headspace where we're ready to perform. Yeah, Michael makes really lame jokes that are really <laughs> good at like snapping me out of my bad moods. For better or for worse, I probably make jokes at good times. <laughs> yeah, Michael probably wins that one. <laughs> um, I think just being on such a different stage than at junior. I mean, there's a whole different level of competition. Everyone's skating at the top of their game. And I think just kind of figuring out how to deal with that pressure was the trickiest part. That um, we really have to be invested 100% all the time that we're on the ice at that competition. It's, as, as she said, everyone in senior is at the top of their game. Yeah, so there's no time to doubt yourself, doubt your yeah. abilities or any of that. You just have to believe in what you're doing and do the absolute best that you can. I think we struggled a lot, but I think we learned so much just from that first year that I was really happy with how we finished the season. And I think we, we progressed a lot in terms of our presentation, our mental approach, our conditioning. I think everything got better throughout the year because we were adjusting to this higher level of competition. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Well, for me, it's consistency. Uh, we worked really hard on making sure that all of our elements are much more consistent this year, and we're going to be working on that for the full season, I'm sure. But we've already started off much more consistently than last year, and we're going to definitely do our best to keep that up. Other than that, uh, presentation, always always we can dance more, we can tell our story more. So that's, that's what we're going to do, I think. Yeah, and I think just kind of solidifying that we are here to be one of the top teams, mm -hmm. um, and just going into every competition with that mindset.
I'm really looking forward to our Grand Prix this year. Yeah, both of them. We've got some really fun assignments. We're going um, to France and to Japan. Um, so, really excited for that. That's kind of far away for yeah, right now. Yeah. I think we're going to try and like it's, focus on what's more directly in front of us. And if that takes us there, then we won't complain. Yeah, it's like short-term uh, short goals versus long-term goals. We're focusing more on the short-term, like getting our, our programs uh, to the highest level that we can at the moment to, to compete well in the Grand Prix and the rest of the competitions that we have up until nationals. And after nationals, we'll see, because that'll tell us whether we'll make it to Worlds or anything like that. Really excited. Again, as Rachel said earlier, this is our first time in Italy, so we're really enjoying it. And this is a beautiful rink, too. So. Yeah, a beautiful really rink, beautiful country, beautiful people. It's, <laughs> it's been really yeah. fun so far. Yeah. Michael's probably going to say the food. <laughs> yeah, so far the, the cliche answer is the food. It's so good. <laughs> Um, I don't know, just walking around the city yesterday, the buildings are beautiful, the architecture is beautiful. Um, the weather's just, been nice too while we've been here. Yeah, the weather's been gorgeous. Except for the rain last night, but before yeah, that. Yeah. It was just a, a brief rainy spell. <laughs> Um, well, our mom skated when she was a kid, so she had us both on the ice pretty early just because she thought it was something we should learn how to do. Um, so I have some really fond memories of just starting off, um, but one thing that really sticks out is looking back. I remember watching Tanith Belbin compete in the Olympics on our TV in our living room in our old house and seeing her in that sparkly dress and just thinking that's what I want to do. And for me, um, it was probably, when I first started skating it was because I wanted to play hockey. I, I started taking lessons because my mom told me I had to get my, my skating skills better so that I would be a better hockey player. And I started figure skating and kept doing it just because I, I, I really liked it. And my favorite moment that really put me on the path to, to deciding I wanted to figure skate was uh, when world, the world championships were in DC. And uh, my parents took me to see the the show, the gala that they put on afterwards, and I got to watch uh, Plashenko skate. And that that was, I guess, the, the turning point where I decided that I wanted to skate for, for the rest of my life instead of play hockey. <laughs> Thank you so much for all the support that we've gotten. Uh, definitely stick with us, because we're just going to keep improving and let's see where it goes. <laughs> yeah, we're really excited for this season. We hope you are too. Awesome. Thank you so much for this interview. It was fun. I yeah. wish you guys all the best for your second skate and for the rest of the season. Thank you. Uh, and uh, I hope I'll see you again in another event next time. Yeah. Cool. Thank you.